Van and I are here to demonstrate the installation of a fixed knot product. Today, we'll be putting up the Beckart Solid Lock Pro in a nine wire, 49 inch tall fence. It's a rainy day here in East Tennessee, but we're gonna get this done for you guys, so bear with us. When you do an installation of the Beckart fixed knot, you wanna always think about your future. Where are we gonna put gates? Think about your layout. What might I do with this property later on? Like all Beckart products and all good fences, everything comes from a good brace. We've got really good braces set today, and you can check out our brace building videos on YouTube as well. So first thing we're gonna do, get this product rolled out and ready to go. We're here at our bottom termination post and uh, we're gonna strip off one knot and we're gonna terminate. It's very, very important when using fixed knot and especially the Beckart solid lock, you need to tie and make a good termination. So Van's stripping off one knot. So when he gets done, we'll make this termination and then we'll go back up on the hill and we'll make our pull. We're at about 500 feet today and we do not recommend that you try an end pull at over 660 feet. So this 500 foot pull is within that range and we'll be doing an end pull back up where you guys saw us earlier. Always terminate good and square on your post. If you start off sloppy at your termination, you're gonna wind up with a sloppy fence. So be sure everything's square, everything's good and everything's tight on your termination post. So we've got our knot stripped off now and we've got our fabric up against our brace post. So again, it's very important to keep your fence square. So to terminate, we're gonna use the T-clip from Gripple. The T-clips are quick, easy to use. So the T-clip. Pass the wire through. As you can see, Van and I have finished out the T-clips now and our stays are running good and straight with our post. This will give us a good finish on the pull end once we put tension on the fence. So we've got our end post down terminated and we're ready to make the pull. So a general rule of thumb is when you're pulling this 500 feet, you go five feet plus one foot for every 100 feet of pull that you're gonna make. So we know that this is a 10 foot brace, so we're set up at about 10 feet. So we pulled the fabric into our stretcher bar, so now we'll set our wedges and get ready to pull our fabric. So at this point, it's very important that every line wire is underneath a wedge. So we've got everything set, and now Van will seat the wedges. And you'll hear a distinct tone difference when you're setting that wedge. Now, we'll try to stay in sync and we'll try to pull this wire as square as we can. Now I'm on the other side, so I'll get out of Van's way down there. Always tension the bottom of your fence first. Pull it as square as you can, but there's not necessarily so much on the nine wire, but a lot of the progressive fences from Beckart, there's more resistance on the bottom than there is the top. So it's always better to tension the bottom first. So 
we've got quite a bit of tension on the fence now, and we've got a pretty steep terrain change right here. It drops off down the hill. You may not be able to see it so much on camera, but it's getting pretty steep. So we've got good tension, and we've came out, and we can tell that the fence is starting to stand up on the far end. So we're getting the tension that we need. So what Van and I are gonna do now is we're gonna stand this fence up and we're gonna check the tension. And then if we need to, we'll go back down to the other end and we'll tighten it up. Now on a terrain change like this, when we go to finish out the fence, we're always gonna staple our high points, come back, pull it down into the low points and staple it there. It's always important to follow that procedure so your fence stays square as you come down the hill. So right now we're gonna stand it up and we're gonna check this out. And if you watch down that way, we think we're in pretty good shape. So you'll see the fence start to stand up on its own. So as you see, it's starting to stand up and we've got good tension. We've got just a little bit, like four to six inches of flex in the fence between the posts. So we're in really good shape. So we'll head back down that way and we'll terminate the fence and then we'll come back and trim it out. Okay, so we're back at our pull post, and as you can see, we've got good tension on the fence going down. We had just about four to six inches of flex between the posts, and this is actually Van's fence, and that's where he wants it to be. So don't ever tension a fixed knot high tensile, and especially Beckhart solid lock, do not over tension that fence. Never take more than half of the tension curve out. When you do that, you would start to get into the elongation factors of the fence and you will start to break the grain structure down. And that's the beauty of a fixed knot high tensile fence. This fence will react through the weather. It will contract and it will expand and it will keep its tension throughout the years. So we've got the tension on our fence and as you can see, we're really good and square. The fence came out very nice. Our stay runs right with our, with our brace post here. So we're gonna terminate again using the T-clips from Gripple. Okay, at this point, we've got our terminations made. Everything's nice and square, and we're ready to drop the tension back into the fence. So you'll always have just a little bit of slack. But with a good high tensile fence, the product will absorb this little bit of slack, and you'll still be good to go. So. Just run your chain walker backwards, and we lost less than a link in the chain. Now our fence has absorbed all of the tension of the slack is back into the fence. We're ready to remove the stretcher bar. Now we've got a nice, good, tight fence, and it's time to go down and trim it out, staple it all to the posts. So we'll go down and we'll do the high points first, and then we'll work down to the low points. We've came to our high points, we're gonna staple them first, and then we're gonna make this fence roll down the terrain. Uh, Van today has the Delfast power stapler, so we'll stand the fence up, get it set where we want it, and Van will start stapling. Okay guys, as you can tell, we've got everything. We've started stapling up and the fence is good and tight. We have just a little bit of flex in the fence and we're ready to finish out the entire run. So remember, when it comes time to build your fence, think Beckart, made in the USA.